Welcome to our screencast series on building a social networking site using the Cold Fusion on Wheels framework. In episode 13, I will cover pagination. This involves both setting up a model call to pull out just the data that you need for whatever page that the user's on, as well as a simple call that displays the links to the different pages within your information space. Now we're looking at our social network and if you take a look at this list of status updates you'll see that we're kind of maxed out on what's showing up on this screen and it looks like people are starting to use the social network which is a good thing. It's not exactly one of the big social networks yet but there's some usage there and if we look at our database and we browse it you'll see that we've got 95 records but we're only showing a handful here so what we're going to do is at the bottom of this after this last one is add some links for pagination so that there are basically two steps to getting pagination working uh, the first step is to call what you need from the model in the controller and then the second step is to display the links so let's do the first step I'll open controllers main.cfc and in the home action is where we want to edit and really all that we need to do is modify what we pass to this find all when we're uh, setting our status updates so at the end here I can get rid of max rows equals 15 because that's not really needed in this case and really there's only two arguments that we need to pass this the first is per page so how many results do we want to show on each page and let's leave that at 15 and then the second one is an argument called page which is the page number that you want to start the person on so um, if we want to show the first 15 results we pass one if we want to show 11 through 20 we pass two and so on so to start with let's do page one and now let's open the view and main home and down at the bottom here after we show our status updates all that we really need to do here is called pagination links which is a view helper for showing what was loaded so now let me reload this and we're still on page one and if you look here now here's the page numbers uh, as it turns out there's about seven pages if you divide that by 15 and if I hover over each link you'll see that wheels automatically at the end of each one adds a URL variable called page so for page 2 it sets page equals 2 and so forth so let's just play around with this a little bit so you can see how it works so if I pass this a page equals 2 and reload you'll see that now page 2 is not a link and we have a different set of results here and as I increase this page number uh, the the age of the results should be older so that that's working exactly as we would expect really all that we need to do now is handle this dynamically so as you saw it passes params dot page but we also need to set a default value for when that's not set so on page one you don't necessarily have a page equals one at the end so we'll do a cf param for params dot page and give it a default of one and that's all we really need so if I reload this here's the first page the results are from 15 minutes to 9 days old if I click the 2 you'll see that we're from 10 days old to 24 days old so it's working exactly as we would expect now one thing that we can do to improve this is to get rid of this URL parameter for page uh, since we're used to prettier URLs with the rest of our Wheels app, fortunately there's a way to achieve the same thing for our uh, paginated results as well. So what we need to do first is, like with everything else uh, where we involve routing, go to config routes.cfm and here we'll call add route to add a new route and we'll give it a name let's call it home with page num and we'll do a pattern of main slash home slash page slash and then the placeholder for params dot page 
and we'll give it a controller of main and an action of home. And it's that simple. So now our route's ready to go. And all that we need to do is go to our pagination links helper call here. And basically this helper will take any of the arguments that you can pass to link to. So one that we can pass is route. So we'll call it by its name, home with page num. And if I reload my app uh, and then scroll down and let's hover over one of these links, you'll see that now it built out the URL as slash main slash home slash page slash two. So if I click that, you'll see that it loaded the second page. And if we look up at the URL, now it's referencing that URL instead of needing to have the URL parameter. Now if we go back to our call to the pagination links view helper, you'll see that we haven't really needed to do much to get it working. Out of the box, Wheels gives you a lot of fairly powerful functionality that uh, helps you get pagination set up really quickly. All that we'd really need to do from here is set up some styles and make things look prettier. But there are a number of ways that you can configure this to meet your needs. I'm not going to cover all of them, but I'll show you a couple. Be sure to go to cfwheels.org and check out the documentation to see what arguments you can pass pagination links to get it to uh, meet your needs a little better if you need it. So one thing that I'll do is I'll set window size just to demonstrate uh, what this does. Basically think of the window if we look at our pagination links, the window size is basically the number of links that you want it to show around the current page. So if we set this to one, we want to show at max one link beside uh, on each side of the two, which is the current page. So if I reload this, you'll see that um, basically it's only showing at max one. So we have the one and the three to the left and the right. If I change this to 2, it'll show at max 2 on each side. So if I click on this 4, for example, and scroll down, you'll see that it's showing at max 2 on each side. Now these on the sides are called anchors. So they've got a delimiter that shows that this is the first page and this is the last, in case the user ever wants to jump to another page. So as you can see, the anchors are still there. Now if we want to turn that off even, we can pass an argument called always show anchors and we can set this to false it defaults to true so if I reload this the 1 and the 7 won't necessarily be there so you can see that we've got at max 2 on each side so if I click this 4 and we go to the middle you'll see that the 1 and the 7 are no longer included nor those ellipses that uh, delimit that they are anchors to learn more about pagination and the Cold Fusion on Wheels framework, visit cfwheels.org.